Hi. Today, we're going to talk about explosions and specifically blowing up one gram of RDX. Before we start this, we should talk about what makes a useful explosive, the characteristics that those kind of things normally have. They have about four characteristics. Number one is whatever you're exploding or blowing up, you want it to decompose very exothermically. You want it to release a lot of heat and a lot of energy. You want the products to be gaseous so that a lot of pressure is released very quickly. Um, actually, number three is you want it to happen very quickly. You want it to decompose very rapidly so it'll explode. The fourth is you want it to be stable enough that you can detonate it when you want to. So then blow up in your face. Um, and basically an explosion is a strong exothermic reaction. What is an exothermic reaction? Well, it's any reaction where the you start with weak chemical bonds and you make molecules with strong chemical bonds. You decompose into molecules with strong chemical bonds. Those, that's really what you need to have a strong exothermic reaction. Now, the thing we're specifically going to blow up is RDX, or with its scientific name, uh, cyclotrimethylene trinitramine. There's an L right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. It's uh, it's equation, balanced chemical equation of how it decomposes, it's C3H6N6O6 into carbon monoxide, uh, nitrogen, or into, and water, right there. Balanced chemical equation, very nice. Now, before we can figure out exactly how much energy is released, we need to find out how many bonds there are. We need to calculate, find out exactly the energy stored in all the bonds so we can find out what happens when we break them and all the energy is released. So we draw a Lewis dot structure of RDX and see exactly where all the bonds lie so we can find the entropies of them and add them all up. Uh, so pretty straightforward. Just make sure you draw your Lewis dot structure for whatever thing you're blowing up. Um, and then when it decomposes, it decomposes into these things, N2, uh, H2O, and CO. Triple bond on N2 single bonds on H2O and a triple bond of carbon monoxide. So now we know how many bonds there are, we're going to go and find the bond entities, which is our kilojoules per mole. Uh, we have N to N, N to O, N double bond to O, C to H, and C to N. The very first one should say C to N, it's a little typo on our part, but uh, should say C to N. And all those entities have that in kilojoules per mole. The bonds stored in total in one uh, mole of RDX is 7,149 kilojoules per mole. All those bonds up there. So now we need to find how much energy is stored in the bonds of the products, the stuff we make, so it decomposes into when it explodes. We have a uh, C triple bonded to O, H single bonded to O, and N triple bonded to N. And we have those bonds three times, six times, and three times. And it's stored in each one of those bonds different amount of energy. Uh, the total amount of energy that's going to be stored in the bonds once RDX explodes is 2,216 and then in the single bonds of water 2,778 and then in the N2 it's going to be 2,823. It's going to equal up 8,817 kilojoules per mole stored in those bonds compared to the 7,149 grams in our reactants. So the numbers we just found, unfortunately, were for one mole of RDX, so now we need to find out exactly how much energy is in one gram. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the total molar mass and find the percentage bigger it is than one gram and add it all up. So those numbers you see there are the molar mass for RDX, 227.1432, that's how much, that's the molar mass of RDX. What we're going to do is we're going to take that number and have it under 1, divide 1 by 227.1432 and then we'll get the exact ratio that it is. Uh, which turns out the number we need is 0 .004403. Um, I'm going to multiply that times the enthalpies that we found in the products and reactants and get 31.4754 for the reactants and 38.82125 for the products. And all we have to do now is subtract the 38, actually the 31.47354 minus the 38.82125. You wanna subtract the 
products from reactants. And you'll see that you should always get a negative number in an explosion because it's a releasing energy. And this explosion of blowing up one gram of RDX actually releases negative 7.3477 kilojams per mole. It's enough energy to send a tennis ball flying at 98 miles an hour. So, uh, hope this helped anyone who wanted to help, and have a wonderful day.